So find your mountain pose position, feet hip width apart, lift those toes, and everything even across the base of the toes and in the heels. Spread your toes out as you put them down, no gripping, so don't crunch the toes down, just spread them flat. Sitting bones down, hips nice and open, bottom ribs toward your spine and up toward your heart, getting that lengthening through the front, shoulders, shoulder blades down toward your waist. And then reach your spine apart, so base of your spine and base of your skull stretching. Breathe deep, let the belly move as the lungs expand. Exhale, and just relax. And then inhaling, bring your arms out at shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows a little back. Stretch to the front, keeping your shoulders down. And then hands behind you, clasp your fingertips, lift your heart. Stretch your spine, pivot at your hips, coming over, exhaling all the way back. And just as you come into that forward bend, move your hands towards your head, let your shoulders release a little. Chin tucking in, sitting bones coming up, relaxing. And then slowly work your way up. Lift your heart, keep your shoulders down, and stretch your head back. So just keep lengthening, breathing, and opening up through the heart. And then inhale to the top, release your arms, coming back into them. Feel the circulation a little bit more through your spine, warming it up. And again, arms out, shoulder up, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, keep the shoulders down. Hands behind you, clasping the opposite way. And again, stretch, lifting your heart. Exhale, over. So deepen into your forward bend as much as you feel is right this day. Spread your toes, lift your sitting bones, tuck in your chin, and then slowly wind your way back to the top. Heart toward the ceiling, shoulders down, and head back. So really upper body as you're focused for that back bend. Inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling how that is. Inhale, reach out, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders. Keep the shoulders down, clasp your hands for our side stretch. Pull your arms back by your ears, shoulder blades down, sitting bones down. No twisting on this one as you lean to the side. Get those ribs stretching apart that you're leaning away from. Push that foot down for a little extra if you like it. And breathe. And then inhale back to the center. Switch your arms around, other one in front. And again, shoulders staying down, lengthen up. Exhale and move without twisting into that side stretch. Push the foot down, breathe into the ribs on that side that's stretching. And inhaling, come back up, exhale, and release. Take a moment feeling your sides, maybe a little more stimulated, and we'll do our twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, and over your shoulders. Clasp at your elbows, stretch it up, and exhale for your twist. Knees a little bent, stretch up, pivot over as you exhale, and relax. So keep lifting your sitting bones, keep those legs as straight as feels okay. See if you can keep the weight in both feet evenly, and just relax. Arms by your ears, slowly work your way in the twist, coming up and staying in the twist. Look overhead, shoulders down, heart high, and not too back bendy in the lower back. And then inhale upright, exhale to the center, switch your arms around again. Arms by your ears, sitting on the stern. Stretch long and exhale. 
Take a breath in, exhale, and come into your twist forward lift. And again, see if you can keep the weight on both feet as you move this side. Just relax. Notice how your body is working on this side. And again, slowly work your way up, staying in your twist and lifting your heart, elbows back and shoulder blades down, coming into that upper body as you back in. And then inhale to the top, exhale back around to the center, bring your arms up, shoulders are down, sitting bones push back as you pivot at your hip joint so you can get that body nice and straight. And then drop ragdoll. Just hang. Breathe. Hands behind your legs. Maybe pull in a little bit. Give it extra stretch. And then release back to the front. Okay. Move your hands to one side. So again, a twist. You're coming over toward the side as you move your upper body all the way to one foot. And then move the hands back to the center, straighten things out, and then move to the other side. And again, keep your back as flat as you can as you're doing that. And just keep lengthening through your spine. And then again, back to the center. Okay, we're gonna stay there. Keep your spine flat and long, so sitting bones are crowd away from each other. Keep lengthening. You can have your hands on the floor or your legs, either way. Lengthening and breathing. And then again, walk your hands to one side. And then keep the front hand down next to that foot and bring your other hand up and look at it coming into that twist a little deeper. So keep raising that hand as high as it wants to go toward the ceiling. Keep looking at that hand, turning your whole upper body, looking. And then bring your hand back down. And walk your hands back to the middle. And again, straighten and stretch everything right there in the center. Lengthen your spine nice and flat and long. And then move your hands to the opposite side. Front hand stays down near your foot or on your leg. Other hand goes up behind you, palm facing the direction behind you. And just keep looking at that hand in the air, getting that whole upper body in a little twist. Breathe. And then bring your hand back down, looking at the floor, move the hands back to the center. And then straighten your back, bring your arms out by your ears so you can get everything straight again and pivot all the way up. And release your arms. So back in mountain pose, just feel your body and get your chair. So put your chair next to you and you can keep your hand on the chair or not. It's your choice. We're going to do a balance. So get the outside of your foot parallel to the chair or the wall or whatever's next to you. You can be a wall as opposed to the chair. Pick up your toes, get the whole base of the toes area connected, and make sure that your toes spread out. Don't crunch down or you lift that base of the toe area. So you're kind of rolling in from the top of the thigh as you do that to keep your ankle, knee, and hip lined up and that knee going in the direction of your, like your second toe. So sink into that foot evenly, straighten up through your whole body, hold the chair or not, your choice, and bring the other foot up. So as you bring the other foot up, don't cross it over toward the chair or your leg, keep it straight down. And you can pull it up toward your heart and hold it with your hands if you want, or not, your choice. And then circles with your ankle, both ways, just getting that ankle nice and flexible. And flex and point a few times. And put your foot back down. Feel grounded. And we'll do the other side. So either turn around at the wall or move your chair or whatever you need to to do the opposite side. 
side of your foot parallel to the chair, so that's that little inner rotation. Knee going toward your second toe, everything lined up, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder. So you want those toes again lifted so you get the base really well connected and spreading out, not gripping. Lengthen up through the spine, keep the hips nice and open and bring that other leg up. And again, don't cross it toward the chair or out to the side, either way, just straight up toward your heart. So knee pulling in, you can wrap or not, your choice, and work your ankle. So get good circles going, and then the other way. And then flex and point a few times, making that ankle nice and flexible, and bring it down. And then we're going to go back to our first side. So again, same positioning for that leg, rounding into that whole bottom of your foot, up through your bones. The more your bones stack and support you, the easier it is, the less work for your muscles. Again, core in and up so that that core keeps supporting you. And you can keep holding the chair. We're going to, again, bring that knee up with the foot straight down. And then you're going to reach your hand to your toes or your leg, and we're going to extend it out in front. So bring it out in front as straight as you can. Keep your body as upright as you can. And to push out through the heel, you can be holding on to your calf or your thigh if that works better than holding your foot or your toes. And just kind of press out, kneecap toward your thigh on that extended to the front leg and pull extension out through the bottom of your foot. Round to the ceiling. If you can, bring your other arm out to the side. And then bend your knee and put your foot back down. And shift the chair if you're using it or turn around at your wall. And get ready for the other side because you need to balance the body. So again, find your positioning for that rounding leg. Make sure that it's all nice and connected through the bottom of your foot. That core is supporting your spine, shoulders staying down, everything's stacked. The more you're stacked, the bones support you, the muscles don't work as hard. Hand on the chair or not, and then bring that other leg up. And again, you can hug it in as it gets up. You can stay there, or you can reach for your foot and bring it out, or you can hold your bottom of your foot or leg and extend it forward. So remember, it's a personal practice. Oh, you don't even have to hold on if you don't want to. You can just bring both arms out. And then bend in your knee, bring it back down, and turn your chair around, and we'll sit. So coming into your seated position, Sitting bones are connected. Your body is not pressing into the back of your chair. Your knees and ankles are lined up and everything's right in front of your hips on that lower body, feet straight ahead. So you should be able to see your big toe when things are aligned correctly in that positioning. And shoulders relaxed and down, ribs in and up or supporting you. Oh, and don't forget to breathe. So keep lengthening up. Now we're going to shift one foot forward, straighten it out, flex the heel, and bring that foot up off the floor. And then lift that foot until the thighs are parallel. Core working, hip flexor working a little bit, and allow your body just to be upright in your upper back. So shoulder, shoulder blades stay down, that foot pushes out. And if you want to lift it a little higher, you can do that. You can hold onto the chair too while you're getting it, if that's important for your core. So go ahead and lift it as high as you want. Keep pushing out through the bottom of your foot, and then bend the knee and bring it back next to you. Feel your body. Notice how that was working. Get your sitting bones nicely connected into the chair. Shift your knees over your ankles positioning, and get ready for your other leg. Slide that foot out, flex the heel, lift it till the knee is straight. So the kneecap kind of tightens toward the top of your 
front of your thigh, the front of your thigh tighten so that back of your hamstring area on the back of your leg can stretch nice and straight. And the bottom of your foot whole thing is pushing out as those ribs pull in and up to get that core working with your hip flexor to support that leg. And again, parallel to the other one, we'll lift it a little higher if you want a little extra work through the leg, through the core, noticing what your body is doing to work for you in that position. And again, maximize or minimize, it's your choice. And then slowly bend the knee and bring it back down. So a little core work there, you notice how that was. Put your thumbs right at the top of your thigh at the hip crease. And then keep your upper body straight, ribs in and up. And leave with your heart and your chin coming forward. So don't crunch your chin toward your chest, but don't push it out too far forward either. You want the back of the neck to stay straight along with your spine. And just pivot as far as you want to. Sliding kind of the sitting bones back a little further behind you. And notice that your core is helping you in this. This is a little bit of abdominal work here. So just allow your body to stretch through the spine, pivoting as deeply as you want so those bottom ribs are coming toward your thighs. And then keeping the thumbs right there, keep pivoting up with your body nice and straight. Coming back up to your upright position and release your hands. Take a moment, feel the core a little bit more worked. And then we're going to bring one hand to the side, kind of hanging down, other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, over your shoulder, and then slide the hand toward the floor, and the other one comes over. So lateral stretch, giving the side stretch to the side. Fingertips reaching down on that arm that's below toward the floor, arm in the air near your ear. Stretch it out, stretch your head toward your hand in the ear. And then slide back up, arm releasing. And other arm stays down, hand out at shoulder level, palm up over your shoulder, slide it into that side. And again, maximize stretching as much or as little as your body wants on this side. Fingertips heading toward the floor, arm head reaching out through the fingers. Breathe, sitting bones evenly connected as much as you can. And then inhale, coming back up. Release that arm back down. And feel your sides a little more stretched. So again, we're going to do a twist because we like to use the spine all its ways. So take one hand to the other knee, arm out. Follow that hand at shoulder level or land behind you. Bring it to the bottom of the chair or the opposite side of the chair. And then from your sitting bones all the way through your spine, stretch your spine apart. Hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning, looking a little further behind you as much as your spine wants to. So again, breathe, exhale, relaxing into it. And then bring the hand behind you back up and follow it back around to the center. Release your hands, feel the twist energy, notice your body. And of course, we'll twist the other hand to the outside of the opposite leg. Arm out at shoulder level. Keep the shoulders down as you stretch your spine up. And exhale into your twist. Bring your hand to the chair behind you or the opposite side of the chair. From the sitting bone, stretch all the way up. Exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning. The whole spine moving into its twist. So breathe, relax. Deepen or not, remember personal practice, do what's right for you. And then bring the hand behind you back to shoulder level, follow it back around to the center, and release. Feel your spine more stimulated. Check that those ankles are still right under your knees, toes straight ahead of them. Sitting bones connected. We're going to bring the arms out in front, palms down or facing each other, your choice. We're going to just lift the sitting bones off the chair 
<clears throat> so you've got to get put pressure into the base of the toes and heels evenly, coming up into chair position. So the hips are sinking back, the knees are going toward the toes, not beyond or you're overstraining your knees. And the arms can come up by your ears or stay straight out in front of your shoulders if that's not comfortable. And then we're going to stay in this little spot if that's okay with your knees. If it's not, come up a little higher and bring your hands to your heart. We're going to do another twist. So, steady bones going back, stretch your spine apart. And as you exhale, you're going to rotate your whole body to look to the side. And then if you can, you can bring your elbow to the outside of the knee and the other elbow kind of right above it as you look toward the side. So a deep twist with those knees bent. And remember, the knees are like right above the toes, not going beyond them. The sitting bones are pushing back. So as you're in your twist, remember the whole body is turning, not just your head. And you want those heart hands to stay right in front of your heart as much as you can. And then releasing the elbow from the knee if it is there. Turn back so you're straight to the front. Bring your arms out. Straighten up a little bit more. And then sink back onto your chair and release. So of course you know, we're about to do it to the other side, but I thought I'd give you a break. So again, check your positioning. Everything should be nice and straight. That core gets a little bit of work in this thing, so feel that. Notice how it's supporting you. Spine is nice and straight, ground to the ceiling, sitting bones connected. Hips, knees, ankles, toes, everything lined up so that we can go again into our chair position. So bring your arms out in front and come into both feet evenly. Knees towards your toes, not beyond. If that's too much for your knees, come up a little higher. You can stay there or bring your arms up. And then we're going to do our twists. So hands come to your heart. Stretch the sitting bones and crown away. And then turn all the way to the side, keeping the hands at the heart, looking to the side. If that's good, you can hook that elbow outside the knee and twist a little deeper if you love it. So again, sitting bones and crown reaching away, hands at your heart, elbows as much right above each other as you can get, and looking to the side or slightly up toward the ceiling. And then releasing the elbow, turning back to the center, bring the arms out, inhale, and come all the way up, and into that pose. Feel your core, notice your body, and breathe. And we're done with our check. So again, coming into mountain pose, just allow your spine to stack, sitting bones down, core supporting and stretching up through the top of your body. Inhale, arms to the shoulders, palms toward the ceiling, Stretch it up, keep your shoulders down, palms together, follow them all the way over into your forward bend. Drag down to 10, slide the hands up under your knees, on your shins, palms flat to your legs, and stretch and straighten with your spine nice and straight. So shoulders, shoulder blades back toward your waist as you stretch the crown forward. And then exhale and come all the way into child's pose on the floor. So again, cushion if you need to. Make any adjustments, separate your knees or bring them together depending on what you want to emphasize. Whether you want to breathe easier or have a good stretch in your lower back. And then inhaling up, bring your legs out in front. And all the way to the end of the mat. The sitting bones connect. Feel your core. We're going to use the core and just support with the core as you keep your body as straight as you can and you pivot into that reclined position. So slowly, slowly, slowly lowering your body using your core muscles to get all the way down. 
into reclined integration. That means just relax on the floor. Feel your body. Exhale tension. Just allow yourself to take a moment feeling connected to that surface beneath you. And then bring your arms straight out from your shoulders, palms up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Slide your sitting bones toward your heels, so the knee knees slightly slide back, lower back into the mat. And then bring your right leg up to the ceiling. So perpendicular as much as you can, pressing out through the bottom of your foot so that that whole leg is nice and straight. We're going to roll all the way to the left side. So hands coming together and foot all the way down to the floor. So you're rolling all the way onto your side and keeping your head on the floor. Get a pillow or something to pad under you if your neck is being straight. So as you're all the way to your side, you're going to want to take the foot up near your hand and hold the foot or the leg with your left hand. And the right hand is coming up right above your shoulder, palm open, fingertips toward the ceiling. We'll look up at that hand in the air. Keep it right there at shoulder level. So don't bring it up toward your head or down toward your hip, but right at shoulder level. And lower the back of the hand straight behind you into your twist. So keep looking at the hand that you're lowering. And that brings your upper neck and shoulder into the twist. So don't go too far if you've got neck issues. The more you hold your foot and push it away on that leg in front, the more that lower back gets twisted. And the more your hand, arm, and shoulder come toward the floor, the more your middle back is in the twist. So gravity, gravity will do the work, pulling that hand or arm closer toward the floor as you relax. So deep breaths, just exhaling tension and deepening more and more into your twist as much as your body is willing or wants to do today. Deep breaths, just relaxing. And then when you've had enough twist, just let go of your leg or foot, roll all the way onto your back, pressing that foot all the way up toward the ceiling as you get onto your back. And then keeping that leg nice and straight, that core activated to lower the leg slowly back all the way to the floor. And just take a moment there, feeling that twist energy and knowing that we have to twist the opposite direction to balance out the body and your energy for our relaxation. So again, shoulders and shoulder blades are down, arms up, palms up at shoulder level. Slide the sitting bones toward the heels. Get that back connected as you bring the left leg up. Or the opposite one if you need the left one already. Kneecap toward your thigh, core activated, foot pressing away through the whole base of the toes and heels evenly. And keep that pushing away through the whole foot as you roll your whole body over to the right side. Hands together in front of you on the floor, head on the floor and foot down. Bring your foot up towards your hand and hold it with your hand if that works for you or otherwise put your hand on your leg just to keep that leg down on the floor. And the what is this? left hand comes up, palm open toward your foot that's extended in front of you. And remember, keep that foot flexed in front of you, pushing away. And lower the hand behind you as you look at it. Bringing the hand toward the floor, right at shoulder level. So as the shoulder comes down, just let it go, relaxing. Hand, arm heavy, so the gravity can pull you into that twist as much as your body is willing to do. <coughs> so remember, the more you hold your foot right out in front of your shoulder on that extended to the front leg, that's your lower back in the twist. The more your head is turned, neck and shoulder twist. If you've got issues, remember, minimize, don't maximize. Arm and shoulder coming down whenever gravity is willing to pull that hand and shoulder toward the floor. 
So maximize or minimize personal practice doing what's right in this twist. Noticing that maybe one side is different from the other side. That's not unusual. Just breathe deep. Exhale. And let it release. Maybe a little bit more. Deep breaths. Keep relaxing. And when you're ready to release, just letting go of your foot or leg. Rolling again all the way onto your back. Straightening things out. Pressing the foot bottom away. And using your core for support as you lower to the floor. And then shifting your hands near your hips, palms up. Let your shoulders and shoulder blades come down into the surface beneath you. And let your whole body just relax. So deep breaths in. Scanning through your body, find any tightness. Let it go. Quite a bit of that midsection got work today. So go ahead. Let the sides and the core relax, just softening completely. Arms, shoulders, everything just sinking down into that surface, letting it go. Deep breaths in, exhaling any tightness, just letting your body sink with gravity into the earth and grace. So let Mother Earth support your body, just Release thoughts of your body from your mind, allowing all the muscles to release a little bit more as you breathe. And as your body grows heavy and sinks deeper, just let it go completely. And allow your awareness to lose any connection to your body. Allowing your mind to drift as easily as your breath. Let the thoughts flow in and let them flow out. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Right now, there's no thought you need to follow. Just let it go like you're doing. Drifting away and let it and as your breath deepens and your body sinks and your mind drifts more freely, just allow your awareness to release your body, to release your mind. And just turning inward, finding peace. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. Just be peace. And when you're ready, then drawing energy and awareness back to the room, back to your body, and you're ready. The rest of your day, preparing, stretching, moving your body gently. And when you're ready, pressing your back down, drawing your knees in, giving yourself an appreciative yoga hug, 
letting your body know that you appreciate its work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to sit back up, just roll over and get ready for your day ahead. Thanks for joining me.